Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Let's Talk About video. This has been a topic I've uh, really wanted to go over ever since uh, um, Luigi's Mansion 3 first got announced uh, last year, and also when I got the original game last year as well. Um, uh, oh, actually, I'm glad that I brought that up, because, um, no, I do not have any nostalgic for the original game. I just got the game last year for the first time, so yeah, I don't think I'm hating on Luigi's Mansion 3 just because I have nostalgia for it. Also, I mentioned Luigi's Mansion, the original game, because I'm going to be doing a lot of comparisons between the OG game and LM3, Luigi's Mansion 3, and, and kind of Dark Moon as well, since I also played Dark Moon for the first time last year too. So this video is almost like a review of all three games in the series. And one last thing. I do not actually own Luigi's Mansion 3, nor will I ever. I have pretty much zero interest in this game based off the trailers and the 8 hours of gameplay that I've seen, which is pretty much the entire game. And I'll also be keeping it spoiler free. Lastly, please don't come with the excuse that I have to play the game in order to be able to judge it. I could watch the gameplay and be able to tell if the game looks fun or not to me personally. That's why we buy video games, right? We look at the trailers and gameplay to decide if the game looks like it would be worth the purchase. If this is how we determine to buy a game, it should also determine it, um, if we shouldn't buy a game and why. This is pretty much this video, to tell you why, to tell you my thoughts on this game and why this seems to be the downfall of the series and why I'm not going to be giving this game a purchase. So now that's over with, uh, let's get straight into it, shall we? But, um, what, okay, very one last quick little thing, um, again, we all need it, um, Respect each other's opinions here again. This is my personal opinion if you like the game that is perfectly fine more power to you That is great for you and Yeah, um, you aren't a angry customer, but um, again, this is just my personal opinion Um, hopefully we can all respect that and yeah, let's get right into it So first off, I want to start with the lighting in this game now you're probably thinking, is this kid really going to hate on this game for its lighting? That's an immediate dislike, right? Well, before you do that, uh, let me just say that if you've actually played the original Luigi's Mansion, you know that the lighting in that game is actually pretty significant. The dark lighting in the OG game really gave it an abandoned, old, dark, and haunted mansion feel to it. It legitimately felt run down and almost felt like I was exploring a real mansion. Isn't that how a haunted mansion is supposed to feel? Now, both in Dark Moon and Luigi's Mansion 3, the mansion slash hotels look like a brand new mansion slash hotel that doesn't even seem scary or frightening in any way possible. Taking away the wonderful atmosphere in the OG game is like taking away the amazing oak atmosphere the Metroid games are known to have. The GameCube game capitalized on its atmosphere. There was reasoning on why Luigi was extremely scared to explore the original mansion, and if I was put into that same mansion in real life, I'd probably be scared too. The attention to detail in the original mansion made it look a lot more realistic, which we'll get to later. And one last thing, there was actually purpose in the flashlight. Without the flashlight, you could barely see anything or where you were going. Now, in the two recent games, the mansion slash hotels just seem uh, so lazily designed, in my opinion. Again, we'll talk about that later. And there's no point whatsoever to have the flashlight when literally everything is lit up. The entire point of the mansion in the first game was to feel really scary and legit haunted. Now they've cut now not kind of, they've pretty much ruined it, um, giving the hotel and mansions, um, well... I really don't know uh, how to describe this hotel because, well, the game pretty much loses its own identity. I really, really hate the idea of every floor having its own theme. For example, there's one floor where you, you're in like some desert, one where you're climbing up a tree, and then there's like a, there's like another one you're in the mine, like in a mine-like underground uh, area for some reason. It just seems uh, out of place for a game that's supposed to feel Halloween-like. I thought it was supposed to be- I thought we were supposed to be exploring a hotel, but then there's a part, like, yeah, there's one part in the game where you're, like, in a pirate- or you're on a pirate ship. Um, it just- I don't know, like, everything in this game just seems really out of place in a bad way. The mansion back in the original game, it seemed like I was exploring, uh, rooms that really belonged to a real family that used to live there. Every room was different and unique, but they belonged there, you know what I mean? 
Oh yeah, al almost none of the rooms fell out of place. Heck, you can even compare the uh, mansion in the original game to your own house. The level of detail in the original mansion was just insane for a game that came back uh, that came out back in 2001. All the dust that'd be blown off on off of anything that you touch, the objects, the furniture, the wallpaper that looked like it was something out of a real house, and more, just made the mansion uh, just feel all that much more detailed. Dark Moon and 3 have none of that. Instead, it's just a bunch of extremely random ideas crammed into one setting. You know what I mean? I really hate the I really hate the direction that they went with the multiple uh, mansion slash hotels um, in the two recent games. And same thing goes with the ghosts. Actually, yeah, uh, let's talk about that for a bit. One of my favorite parts of the OG game were all the fantastic and memorable ghosts that were like that all had their really unique design. Most of the ghosts uh, looked like they once lived there. This was a real family's home that passed away. Every room represents their personality or what they used to like to do when they were alive. Heck, even all the ghosts had a bit of backstory to them in their portraits. You can, you can tell that there was so much love and thought put into these ghosts to make them all that much more memorable, whether it's their design, personality, or history. All that sounds awesome, right? Now let's ditch all of that in Dark Moon and LM3. Not even exaggerating, the designs of the ghosts and bosses in both games seem like they were made by a two-year-old. That's how bad they look in my opinion. Instead, let's have all of them have this extremely dull Looney Tune personality, no backstory, don't even have them feel like real characters that once used to live. Nope, none of that. Sounds great, doesn't it? Alright, wow, that that was a lot. You might be triggered, uh, maybe like maybe a little upset, thinking I should stop talking about the little details about the game, the ghost, hotel design, uh, uh, lighting slash atmosphere, who cares, right? Haven't I always said the gameplay is the most important part about any game, right? Well, you are correct, my friend, and honestly, that's the number one reason why I hate this game. After watching like about, uh, yeah, like 8 hours of this game, the entire, or it seems like to me, the entire game looks like spam the A button fest. There's literally no skill or joy when capturing the ghost. Charge up your light, suck up the ghost, and then spam the A button and slam all the ghosts into each other because the new slam mechanic um, honestly seems extremely OP and broken. Remember when you had to actually like uh, um, have to toggle and wiggle the joystick back and forth, uh, being dragged all over around the room, having to steer Luigi around the danger when being pulled, the coins dropping all over the place, you can either keep capturing the ghosts or collect the coins before they disappear, creating risk and reward, actually being extremely engaging. It's like next level games completely forgot what made the OG games good in the first place once again. Not only is it catching the ghost that's a problem, I also have a really big problem with how much puzzle solving is in this game. Let me explain. My biggest gameplay problem I had with Dark Moon was that I almost felt like I was trying to solve more puzzles than actually catching ghosts. When looking at the gameplay for LM3, it seems like there's just even more puzzle solving now than ever. Probably twice or even three times more now. Once again, it looks like you'll be encountering more puzzles than ghost catching. Now, I don't mind having a good chunk of puzzles in the game. Heck, even the OG game had some puzzle solving to it. And from what I've seen that, um, in this game, some of the puzzles are actually pretty clever and well thought out. Um, definitely like nowhere near as complex as um, puzzles in the Zelda games, but still some of them are actually pretty clever and nice. But it becomes a problem when there's just way too much of it. Again, the OG game had puzzles to it, but it never felt way too much. It was very well paced, catch tons of ghosts that have a break by finding where to go next, and some puzzle solving and repeat. But the type of games the Luigi's Mansion series are, um, having too many puzzles I think really slows down the adventure and pacing of what the game should be. At least that's how I felt in uh, Dark Moon. But it seems to be the exact same problem here except even worse in LM3, and I think it shows me that they really didn't learn from Dark Moon all that much. Well, that's it I have to say about the gameplay, but now let's look at all the other goods and bads that I don't really need a big explanation on. From what I've heard from the soundtrack, it's not bad, but it's pretty forgettable too, just like Dark Moon's soundtrack. Uh, no spoilers, but I will warn you. The final boss in this game is extremely disappointing and probably um, probably the worst in the series in my opinion. Heck, I even thought Dark Moon's the final boss was a lot better. I'm not kidding, the animations in this game are genuinely some of the best I've ever seen. 
They are incredible, and Next Level Games did a phenomenal job on that aspect. It's especially better than the animations we saw from a certain big Nintendo franchise that only came out two weeks after this game. Hmm, trying to think what that could be. <laughs> but anyways, um, the graphics all look really gorgeous and one of the best looking games on Switch so far. The extra mini games they put in here look really bad, boring, and I don't really get the point was to put them in there. Seems like filler so people could get an extra 10 minutes into the game. If you're going to have mini games, at least put like 15 or 20 in there, not 3. The Scare Scraper, aka the A player mode, it doesn't look that bad, honestly, nor that great. Looks like decent fun I'll play with my friends and maybe myself a few times, but then never return. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all I have to say about the game. You can, just, you can tell that I just really wish they went back to the OG game. The first Luigi's Mansion is probably somewhere in my top 20 favorite games of all time, and one of the most unique games I've ever played. It just sucks that in my opinion, Next Level Games is working on the Luigi's Mansion series, instead of making some amazing Mario sports games like they used to do. I wish they would have just uh, left the series with the first game, and uh, that's uh, it because again, in my opinion, the series is really just going downhill and I doubt it's going to stop from there. But what do you guys think? Leave a comment below and tell me, did you pick up this game? If you did, how was it? Is it as bad as I made it out to be in this video? Or is it a great game and I'm just the stupid one? Let me know in the comments below, um, subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you guys all next time, so bye, peace out. Please, Mario Fan 5000.